All right, this example says a projectile is fired from the origin over horizontal ground at an initial speed of 500 meters per second and a launch angle of 60 degrees. Where will the projectile be 10 seconds later? So for this one, we're gonna use our formula for uh, ideal projectile motion that we derived in class. Um, and so for this, all we really need to do is figure out what each of these variables is going to be from the information given and plug it in. So um, our speed, V naught, is uh, our initial speed is going to be 500 meters per second. And the angle, the launch angle, alpha, is going to be 60 degrees. And then our time, we're evaluating this at, um, at 10 seconds. And then the acceleration of gravity, um, we, we, this was in meters per second, so we need our acceleration of gravity to be in meters per second squared. So that's gonna be 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, now we're ready to plug this in. So R, at, evaluated at 10 seconds, is going to be uh, 500 times the cosine of 60 degrees uh, times 10, I plus uh, 500 sine of 60 degrees times 10 minus 1 half times 9.8 times 10 squared times J. Um, all right, and now uh, Cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half, times 500 is, is 250. I'm going to actually make this uh, approximate, because we're going we're gonna to be rounding some numbers over here. And also, this is ideal motion. We're, we're ignoring some things like the rotation of the Earth and, um, and drag and things like that. So um, this is going to be approximately equal to um, Five, one half times 500 is 250 times 10 is 2500 I plus um, sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 over 2 times 500 so that's 250 square root of 3 times 10 so this is 2500 uh, times the square root of 3 which is 1.7 Three two. Um, let's let's do this. Let's multiply by ten thousand. That would be seventeen, three twenty, and then divide it by four. So that's going to be four, uh, three three zero. So forty three thirty uh, minus uh, one half times nine point eight is four point nine times a hundred is four ninety. So this is going to be three eight. Um, eight, 3,840. All right, so 3,840 J. Um, so what that means is that after 10 seconds, our projectile is going to be 2,500 meters downrange, and it's going to be uh, 3,840 meters uh, high. It's going to be 3,840 meters overhead, uh, and 2,500 meters downrange.